Welcome to Global Defense. On the 25th of September 2024, China conducted a significant test of an intercontinental ballistic missile, ICBM, that landed in the Pacific Ocean near French Polynesia. This event stands out for a number of reasons, not least because it was the first Chinese ICBM test into the Pacific since 1980. While China has a history of testing shorter-range missiles across various locations, this latest test calls for attention due to its broader implications. One of the key aspects of this launch was the use of a dummy warhead, which impacted around 800 kilometers from Bora Bora. The missile's range was estimated to be between 11,500 and 11,700 kilometers. Given the range of different ICBMs in China's arsenal, this could have been a DF-31A, a DF-31AG, or possibly a DF-41, which is the most advanced missile in China's inventory. The exact model remains uncertain, but most analyses assume it was likely the DF-41, which is capable of carrying nuclear warheads and has a range between 12,000 and 15,000 kilometers. The method of launch is another notable feature. Images shared by the People's Liberation Army PLA suggest that the missile was fired from a transporter erector launcher uh, vehicle rather than a fixed launch pad. TELs are mobile platforms that can transport missiles, erect them for firing, and then launch them, offering strategic flexibility and mobility. Additionally, the use of a cold launch system was observed, where the missile is ejected from the canister using gas pressure before its engines ignite. This reduces wear on the launcher, allowing it to be reused. The cold launch capability is a feature of most advanced Chinese ICBMs, and this test reaffirms China's mastery of such technology. Geopolitically, the timing of this test is significant. China's relations with several countries, particularly the US, Japan, and the Philippines, have been tense. In August 2024, Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi expressed concern about the presence of a U.S. Typhon missile battery in the Philippines, an issue that was confirmed on the same day as the missile test. Additionally, the U.S. had reaffirmed its nuclear umbrella over Japan just months earlier, which could have motivated China to display its missile capabilities. Another factor that could have prompted this test is internal pressure within China's military. The People's Liberation Army Rocket Force, PLRF, which operates the country's ground-launched missile systems, has been under scrutiny due to reports of inefficiency and corruption. A public missile test, uh, particularly one tied to a combat preparedness exercise, could have been a move to demonstrate operational competence and restore confidence in the force's capabilities. The decision to conduct such a high-profile test may also reflect China's broader strategic goals. As tensions continue to simmer in the Indo-Pacific region, uh, with territorial disputes and military posturing between regional and global powers, China may be seeking to assert its military strength and send a message of deterrence to its adversaries. This test also mirrors a pattern of action from previous years. In 2020, during the height of the COVID-19 pandemic, China sailed an aircraft carrier past Taiwan, while the U.S. was dealing with an outbreak among its own fleet. Similarly, this ICBM test may have been a way for China to project power, especially following a U.S. ICBM test failure in 2023, where a Minuteman III missile test was aborted due to technical issues. In conclusion, this latest ICBM test by China signals a range of strategic and military intentions, from demonstrating technological prowess to making a geopolitical statement. With rising regional tensions, such demonstrations of missile capability are likely to become more frequent, potentially contributing to further instability. Thank you for listening to Global Defense. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and share this episode with others. Stay informed, and we'll see you next time.